यू इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी यूजफुल फॉर यू इफ यू आर इन द फील्ड ऑफ लाइफ साइंस एंड स्पेशली इफ यू आर इंटरेस्टेड इन बायोफोमेटिक्स बिकॉज दिस वीडियो इज अबाउट ब्रेंडा इट इज़ अ कंप्रीहेंसिव डेटा बेस विच कंटेन्स द फंक्शनल डेटा इन्फॉर्मेशन ऑन द एंजाइम्स एंड आफ्टर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो यू विल बी एबल टू वर्क विद ब्रेंडा एंड यू विल बी एबल टू सर्च फॉर आ स्पेसिफिक क्वेरी अबाउट एनी एंजाइम सो स्टार्टिंग विद द इंट्रोडक्शन वट इज ब्रेंडा ब्रेंडा इज बेसिकली अ डेटा बेस विच स्टोर्स द इन्फॉर्मेशन ऑन द एंजाइम्स सो वॉट आर वॉट आर द एंजाइम्स एंजाइम्स आर द बायो कैटालिस्ट दैट इन्हांस द रेट ऑफ बायो केमिकल रिएक्शन और बायोलॉजिकल रिएक्शन दे आर वेरी स्पेसिफिक इन देअर नेचर इन देअर एक्शन दे जस्ट बाइंड विद द सबस्ट्रेट और द लाइग एंड एंड इन्हांस द रेट ऑफ केमिकल और बायो केमिकल रिएक्शन यू कैन सी एंड दीज एंजाइम्स आर ऑल्सो अफेक्टेड बाय द सराउंडिंग कंडीशन लाइक टेम्परेचर प्रेशर पी एच एंड ऑल दे नीड्स द ऑप्टिम कंडीशन टू वर्क and they enhance the rate of reaction by decreasing the activation energy so this was the overview about the enzymes now this database contains the information on the enzymes this database is available online freely uh, via the world wide web dot brenda dot org and this is the collection of the enzyme functional data which is available for the scientific community and it is also on the database that is acting as an in house database for commercial users so as we know that there is a recent progress on enzyme immobilization enzyme production enzyme inhibition coenzyme regeneration and engineering of the enzymes so these all research has opened up the new fields for the potential application of these enzymes in the large range of different areas including agriculture medicine therapeutics and uh, etcetera etcetera so moreover this research also needs to be stored in the systematic way and this database these database provide the systematic way to store all this information and uh, what is the importance of this database it is a systematic collection which is essential for the interpretation of genome information and this information is also applicable in the fields of medicine agriculture as i have al already told you so what is the step uh, to work with brenda what step you should uh, follow if you want to search a query related to the enzyme in this particular database so first step is using a browser first of all you have to search a uh, search this database using any kind of browser you can search i am using google here so search brenda you are in the search window of uh, browser so this is the step 2 and the link will appear we can see here this is the link first link click on the first link which is um, named as brenda in blue color so by open uh, by clicking on this link what we, uh, what we will find is the home page this is the home page of brenda so we have to enter our query enter our search item in this uh, search window you can clearly see that we can find uh, text and structure based queries on the enzymes in this database we can find the information regarding the metabolic pathways in which metabolic pathway this particular enzyme is involved and what is the structure of this enzyme what is the ligand for this enzyme and what is the structure of this ligand with which that enzyme will bind so we can also explore uh, we can explore many many more like we can explore what is the classification of this particular enzyme and ontology of this enzyme visualization we can visualize the word maps genomes and statistical uh, features of that particular enzyme and functional parameters via the navigation window or the search bars so next step is uh, the search we have to search a uh, search for a query for example i have searched sucrase here sucrase is basically the enzyme uh, which act as which act on the substrate sucrose sucrose is substrate for this enzyme and sucrose is a sugar a carbohydrate so i have searched for sucrase this is the enzyme so what is the result result is the 15 hits are found total 15 hits are found by searching the sucrase and furthermore 
I have clicked on uh, the subgroup of the sucrase. This is amylosucrase, for example. Uh, they have given the enzyme commission number, EC number of this mm -hmm. enzyme. And we can find um, all the information regarding this particular enzyme. For example, they have given, this is the enzyme from uh, category transferase and then further uh, hexocyl transferase, amylosucrase. This is the information. Furthermore, we can search the results uh, using the reference ID and the accession number of the enzyme. So this is the word map. Now, next step is you can uh, you can find the reaction scheme. You can see the reaction scheme of uh, scheme of this particular enzyme sucrase. For example, here sucrase is acting on the sucrose. So <clears throat> this is the reaction schema. So next step is the uh, search for the metabolic pathway. For example, I want to search the metabolic pathway or the metabolism in which that particular enzyme is involved. Sucrase, uh, sucrase for example, is involved in starch and sucro, uh, sucrose metabolism. So, I am going to click here and what is the result? This is the result. This is the metabolic pathway in which this particular enzyme is involved. And the red box is representing this uh, particular enzyme for which we have searched. This is the query enzyme. This is the commission number of the enzymes. EC numbers. So this is the navigation bar in blue color from, from where we can fetch the uh, number of items. We can fetch many more regarding the enzymes like nomenclature. You can find the names of the enzyme and enzyme ligand interaction. What are the interactions of these enzymes with their substrate or the ligands? What are the functional parameters? And organisms related information in which these enzymes are involved the molecular properties of the enzymes we can fetch the applications references and external links are also given so iubm b comments you can see furthermore we can refine our results by specifying the search results for example mark a special word or phrase uh, phrase and uh, special reference id you can search the uniprot accession number two so this was the overview of this particular database. Thank you.